All right, fine. I'll be a gracious host. How you doing? Little Mermaid is the scariest Disney movie by far, though. Why the hell is Ace Blade in your Kickstarter? <laughs> Some comics. We going I'm getting controversial today. We're gonna get controversial today with with. My my proudest moment is this interview and being able to talk to you too. All right, let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Taurus Comics in collaboration with Fourth Wall Productions proudly brings to you the Four Tales podcast. I'm your host, Kyron Silva from Taurus Comics, and it's just me today. Yeah, today's a little bit of a different episode. Um, We don't have a guest. I'm the only host. Dan J. Quick is out in Heroes Con, so if you are in the area, go check him out. Tell him I said hi. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about Kickstarters. That's right, Kickstarters. Uh, This is something I've been wanting to do for a while, Uh, another way to maybe showcase comic books that maybe you aren't aware of, haven't seen before, but I'm going to show you some Kickstarters that I came across and hopefully you enjoy. Um, Now, again, um, this is going to be streaming on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and a host of other programs. So if you are watching this, thank you for your support. But don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and review our podcast because all your positive reviews and interactions help us reach a bigger audience. And if you maybe want to check out past episodes of the Four Tail Podcast, please go to our website, fourtailspodcast.com. That is the number four, T A L E S podcast.com. All right. So let's get into this. Uh, and if this is rough, I apologize. This, again, is my first time doing this as a show, in a way. But let's go ahead and start up off. All right. So the first pot Kickstarter that we have. And I'm going to need a name for this. So if you guys can come up with a name, that would be great if you're watching this. I don't know. Something like Kickstarter Corner, Kickstarter Kickoff. I don't know. I know there's a bunch of shows that do this already. But, you know, if you have a name... You know, post it. Let me know. Uh, but first thing we have is Superheresy Showcase, uh, Time Travel Cults and Bass Reeves. Uh, now, this is being produced by Joseph Dewis and his company, Heresy Studios. Um, Heresy Studios actually has done a lot of books in the past. If you're watching this, you can see he's created 11 Kickstarters before. But what he's doing with this is he's actually producing four individual stories in this one book uh, and they're all based off of public domain characters so we have madame fatale we have dash we have scarab um, and bass reeves which is um just characters from what people call the golden age of comics can say um but this is actually really cool because a little bit of anthology it works um joseph Dewis wrote all four of the books here uh, so if you're watching on the page, you can see I'm scrolling through the Kickstarter. He has a bunch of images here. The cover is done by Mark Car- Mike Carlin, uh, which you're familiar with that is editor and artist from DC, things like that. Um, but he has a very interesting story. Um, I'm showcasing this as a little bit of a uh, ego boost to say because I actually got the chance to draw one of the books in this. I did the Madame Fatale story. Um, which is a, a interesting character um, that is actually a spy. It's a man that dresses up as a woman to, you know, I don't know, get its way into things. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But it was a fun story to draw. And we were told to draw in like the early 50s, early 40s comic book style. So uh, my work doesn't look like it would normally in these pages. I try to, I don't know, take influences in the style that was out at the time, Uh, but it was a fun thing to do. So definitely check this out. Um, There's a lot of, besides my artwork, of course, there's other pages here done by some amazing creators and artists. Uh, Looks like Joseph is almost funded, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, he has about four, what is that? $330 left in his campaign. At the time of this recording, there says it's four d- days to go. So he's really close to hitting that goal. Definitely check it out um, if you haven't already. 
check it out. It's a fun book. I got to read not just my story, but I saw some pages from the other story. It looked really great. Uh, definitely check it out. And if you have checked it out and you backed it, share it with your friends. Share it with your people on social media. I forgot to mention all the Kickstarters that I'm going to be showcasing here. They will show up on the show notes. So if you are watching this and you want to check it out, just look there. All right. Next, we have Iscarian Tales. I, I think I said that right. I Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Uh, but this is the first book from Wendy Gale. Uh, Wendy is the wife of Chuck Pino. Both of them are amazing editors in their own right. Um, Chuck, as you know, has written books like uh, Welcome to the Void and co-wrote Belial with Sean Barbour, a good friend of mine. Uh, but this is Wendy's first comic book that she's written on her own. And it's it's doing really great right now. Uh, she's at two thousand two hundred twenty eight dollars, with twenty days to go. That's fantastic. I mean, honestly, fantastic. And this is a really cool story, especially if you're into like swords and sorcery, uh, fantasy things like that. This story is about a young woman who wants to learn, I guess, to use magic, but magic is forget forbidden in her realm. Really great artwork. Um, the artwork is done by Dino Agar. Agor, I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, if you're not familiar with him, go check out Harlan Buck Freesword. One of my favorite comic books. Um, fantastic artwork. Harlan Buck is a great story. And if you like Harlan Buck, I have a feeling you're going to like this type of story too. The look is exactly like that, the same artist. But the story is that same feel. Um, great, beautiful designs for the characters. I mean, this is a um, a really cool story. My understanding, the concept for this came from Wendy doing like D&D type stories with her friends. And they built this whole, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, built this whole community of storytellers. And this is her way of keeping that that love of that story together. Really cool story. Um, trying to get through. If you're watching this, I'm trying to get through all of the artwork here. M amazing covers. I think she has like three different covers available. Uh, here's one by Fish Lee, which is a Star Wars homage. Uh, so really great story. Uh, you can get. Looks like you can get a bunch of other indie creators books along with this. Um, looks like you, you can even get. Uh, hey, the Essence House novel. If you don't listen to Essence House, it's an audio drama available on YouTube and a bunch of other podcast platforms. Really fun listen, especially if you're just looking for something different. Uh, but yeah, this looks really cool. And again, Wendy has 20 days to go, about $770 left to fund. She's probably going to get there, but we want to get there sooner than later. So go fund this. Go back it. Help this out. OK. All right. Next one. Dream Warriors by Nick Davis. I think it is. I, I want to say it's Nick Davis. Yeah. All right. Nick has done a bunch of Kickstarters um, and I wanted to showcase this because if you've seen his his works in the past, this is right up the same alley. As you notice, everything has like a teddy bear feel to it. Um, a Very uh, illustrated fantasy look. And this book looks like it's right up that same alley. It's called Dream Warriors. Uh, it's about a cancer-ridden... Oh, let me go back up. A cancer-ridden boy dreaming of becoming a knight of old and a teddy bear spirit guide exploring and protecting his dreams from the dark. That sounds amazing. I don't know. Uh, but this looks really cool. The, the artwork looks very cartoony, but in a cool way. It, it looks fun. It looks, And it looks like this might be an all-ages book. Um, I could be wrong. I, I have to go back. If I am wrong, Nick, I apologize. Uh, but this looks really great. So if you haven't checked it out, go do. Here's some sample pages. I mean, it's it's bright. It's vibrant. It's, it's luscious in the colors and the story look. If I'm not mistaken, I think I read somewhere this might be done already. There's a teddy bear. Nick, you got to tell me what the teddy bears are all about because that was really cool. Um, so it ended. Oh. Okay, so it says, you know what? There's an inspiration on here that I'm just seeing. I don't know how I didn't miss this the first time, um, which sounds like it's a, a very big 
uh, reason for the story. And I don't want to mess that up, especially with doing this for the first time. So go to Dream Warriors Kickstarter. Check it out. Fund this. Nick is at 1414 with 18 days to go. He has about $900 left over. So I'm pretty sure he's going to fund. But you know what? Sometimes you just don't know. So again, if this is something that you might be into, go check it out. All right, we have a couple more left over. Next one is Warbound. Warbound is from Marcel Dupree and his company, Evolution. I'd probably mess that up. Um, and I'm, I'm showcasing this because, you know, if you notice, I have different types of Kickstarters here. I didn't want to do the same type of Kickstarter over and over again. Um, so the first one was if you're like into the Golden Age books, that was a superhero, superhero heresy showcase. Viscarian Tales is if you're into sword and sorcery. Dream Warriors was a little bit of like a fantasy kids novel type things. Warbound is your action series. So this is Warbound. I've read Warbound number one. It was a cool concept. Warbound is this immortal anti-hero, but you, throughout the story, you're not sure if he really is an anti-hero or just crazy. Uh, it's super violent, super fun, artwork amazing, as always. I mean, I know... I know Marcel Dupree has his issues that people talk about. But one thing is he always has great artwork in his stories. So this looks great. Um, I mean, look at all the action here. Now, of course, you got your, your beautiful women and, and things like that. But this is a fantastic book if you're into and need that action in your life. So go check out Warbound number one. This is actually for Warbound 1 through 4. So, I mean, I'm pretty, it looks like you can get issue one if you want, or if you already have the other three, and you just want to get issue four, that's available too. Uh, looks like he is five days left in his Kickstarter, $370 away from goal. You know you want this, you know, go check that out. All right. Now, last one we have here is not a Kickstarter, but it's Indiegogo. I am not 100% familiar with Indiegogo. Um, I've heard some things. But I just haven't used it. But this looks like it would be a cool story, but it hasn't launched yet. So this is for their pre-launch page. So this is called Jupiter Issue 1, A Teen Trapped in Unhappy unha Home. I can't talk today. I don't know why. A teen trapped. And let's do this again. A teen trapped in an unhappy home gains the ability to escape anywhere or stay to become a hero. Sounds cool. There isn't a lot on their pre-launch page. Um... It has a little bit of a brief dis description about the story. But the artwork looks really interesting. So if you want to look that up, go to Indiegogo, search Jupiter Issue 1. Again, I will have the links of these Kickstarters in the bio on this episode. I don't know if I'm going to do this on a podcast, but if I do, it will definitely be there. But yeah, go check that out. All right, so that's everything. Uh a little bit of a short episode today. And I'm hoping to do this, you know, like I said, every other week to fill in the gap of when we don't have episodes. But hopefully you check it out. Hopefully you check out all those Kickstarters and support them because all these indie creators are doing some great things and they always need your help. All right. So I guess that's it for today. Um, as always, you can go back to our website to check out past episodes. Again, that is the number four, T-A-L-E-S, podcast.com. Um, I know he's not here, but if you want to check out Danny J. Quick's stuff, you can go to fourthwallpros.com. And always go to my website, tauruscomics.com, to get the latest books from me, which would include Shaman's Destiny, Saw the Lightning Wilder, Ruby from Planet Oz, and Starcore. But until next time, sayonara, goodbye, and... Uh, Please take care of yourselves. Music provided by my brother, Quicks Made It. Find him online in YouTube, Instagram, and SoundCloud. I want to know what it is Quick is trying to say. Oh,